Hello guys, welcome to DTWG The Prep. Welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to be, um, you know, showing you how to solve um, using the quadratic formula. Okay, in case you see these questions like this, like this one here is a practice uh, test question a student sent to me on uh, on our Facebook group. Okay, so we're going to solve using this quadratic formula in these two equations here. So I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about the quadratic formula to get that score during your GED test. Okay, so um, please, if this is your first time, before we get on to the video, if this is your first time on this channel, uh, we're here to support you with your GED with free maths, video, science, social studies, and RLA coming soon all right and um, please subscribe to our channel and also check our website for free summaries on your science and um, uh, and social studies free summaries on the u.s history civics and government you know uh, um, on your science your atoms you know your chemical um, balancing chemical equations and so forth so you can check this website you see details on that and um, if you want to join our facebook group with over 2500 members for motivation free resources and if you need any information you know just ask your questions on the group the community is there to fully support you i'll leave the link in the video description box of the facebook group and also i do one-on-one -on -one tutoring all right if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one math tutoring uh, you can contact me. I will leave my uh, email in the video description box and you can also meet me up on the Facebook group I'm the admin here there. You can chat me up. I will take it from there All right, so let's get on to the video now on how to use the quadratic formula to solve, you know co for co uh, Quadratic equations. Okay, so for the first question here, you know, this is a quadratic equation How do you know this is a quadratic equation is by the power the highest power of what X is what 2? Okay, so this is x raised to the power 2. When you see this and you see another x, or even if you don't see another x, it's a quadratic what? equation. All right? So, um, and in linear equation, you just have only the power of x is just 1. You see linear equations like, for instance, you see 2x plus maybe 3 equal to uh, 20 and they say solve. Okay, this is a linear equation because the power of x here, the highest power of x is 1. But this is a quadratic what equation. All right. So before you apply the quadratic formula, um, there's always a formula. Aha, you can see this from here. There's always a formula sheet given um, to you during your even during the practice test. You see that you, are, you can assess the, you can assess the formula. Sorry, I'm a bit too fast. I really don't want this video to be quite long, but I think I'm going to reduce my pace here. OK, so you can see your formula sheet. Um, up there and you can also ass assess your calculator too during the test and also the practice test okay all right so uh, the formula of um, your quadratic formula is what minus b plus or minus and square root we have b square minus 4ac over 2a so you'll be wondering what is b what is this b square what is a what is c Okay, so we're going to get it from here. All right. So when you're given um, this kind of question in your test, you usually bring it this way. You don't, you always see a number here. All right. When you have this, you have to make sure that the equation, the correct equation is equal to zero. All right. Meaning we have to take all numbers to the uh, left hand side and leave only zero on the right hand side. All right. So here. What do we do for this? So we have 3x squared minus 5x equal to 30. So we'll take this here, all right? Or better still, we subtract 30 from both sides, all right? So subtracting 30 from both sides, we have 3x squared minus 5x, all right? And minus 30. This would, uh, subtracting will cancel out this 30, and we are left with what is zero, all right? Or a better way I always prefer to teach students when you're taking a positive number to another side it changes to what negative so it's like taking positive 30 crossing the bridge it changes to the what opposite sign which becomes what a negative 30 it's still the same ideology as subtracting 30 from both sides okay all right so from here our a is the coefficient of what x squared all right, this is the coefficient of x squared, which is what? 3. So a is what? 3. 
and our c our b i mean is a coefficient of x the coefficient of x here is negative what five this negative five don't forget the negative as i always teach individuals i tutor um th the sign of any number is always in front of it like this three here the sign of three is what a positive the plus three okay so the sign of five here is what a negative what five so don't forget to always take this um, negative along with five so b is what negative five and c is um, the constant that just stands alone so c is what negative 30 so we have a equal to 3 b is equal to negative 5 and c is equal to negative 30. i always um uh, advise uh, individuals i tutor to always put this so it is easy for them to put in substitute these values into the equation okay write this down this way so you don't miss out your signs all right so in putting this into our equation now b is negative 5 remember from our formula our quadratic formula we have a negative in front of b so we do a negative then in parentheses since b is negative 5 you say b is what negative 5 all right don't forget okay this is where most people make mistakes they don't put the negative 5 they just feel since there's a negative here there's no need to put um, the negative 5 no b you have a negative outside here and b is negative 5 so you put the b in parentheses as negative 5 then here we have plus or minus the square root this is b squared that is negative 5 square minus 4 what is a a is a positive 3 so put the positive 3 in parentheses and what is c c is a what's negative 30 we have here divided by 2 in parentheses what is a a is what 3 okay so let's simplify all this now so this negative times negative remember negative times negative is equal to a positive and negative times a positive we always give you a negative okay so here negative times negative so we have a positive 5 plus or minus what is in our square root here let's resolve this so we have negative 5 square that is negative 5 times negative 5 a negative times negative is a positive and 5 times 5 is 25 so we have a positive 25 then here this is a negative what let us simplify this this is 4 times 3 that is 12 and 12 times uh, minus 30 that will give us a minus 360 okay so we have in parentheses minus 360 over 2 times 3 is what 6. So we have 5 plus or minus. Let's resolve this here now. So this is 25. This is a minus and minus. This minus times this minus will give us a positive. So we have in 25 plus 360 over 6. And this will give us 5 plus or minus. What is 25 plus 360? That will be... We have 583. So we have 385 over 6. So you can see this is our answer. From here, our right option is option D. So you can see, I'm sure <laughs> you this is quite long, and you might be asking, oh, how can we use a calculator to get this? For this particular question, it's to be quite difficult for you to use the calculator to solve it. So it means that you really need to know how to solve it this way. All right using um, you know the manual way without your calculator okay because it's in the, the answers the options are in the quadratic formula form if your options were like the values for x like um, a given value like um, 6 um, 6 x equal to 6 and and x equal to maybe uh, 3 over 5 you, you get my point so it, it means that it is you can now use a calculator to really solve this okay it's just you storing the values in a calculator and using the almighty formula i'm actually going to do a video explaining that using your calculator but but for this it's difficult to use your calculator to solve this you need to know how to solve it this way okay so you need to really learn this video and if you really want me to do more questions on this i will please feel free comment below all right so now let's solve for the for this one 
let me clear the screen here so this one says 5x square this is this question is quite tricky and i think it's repeated a lot all right so it's good you know how to solve this so as i said we have to equate this to zero so bringing six here that's taking subtracting six from both sides we have x square minus 4x minus 6 equal to 0. So from here, our a is equal to 5, right? Our b is minus what? 4. Minus 4 here. a is 5. And our c is what? Minus what? 6. Minus 6. So what's our um, quadratic formula? Minus b plus or minus the square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a so let's put in substitute our values into here sorry this should be minus 4 not 5 i made a mistake there all right substitute our values uh, b we have minus in parentheses minus 4 plus or minus minus 4 all squared minus 4 a is what 5 in parentheses 5 and c is minus what 6 divided by 2 a is what 5 okay so let's resolve this now you can see there's no way to do this on your calculator you have to know how to solve this and you always get a question like this during your test your main test at least one question of this of this format that the answers are given your quadratic form uh, formula form all right so it's good you know how to you know just get this mark all right so here we open up our parentheses the minus times minus is a positive so we have 4 plus or minus in parentheses minus 4 squared that's minus 4 times minus 4 that will give us a positive 16 minus times minus positive 4 times 4 16 okay if you don't understand um, your sign rules I will leave a link to a video which I've explained understanding your plus and minus sign rules, okay? So we have 16 minus 4 times 5 is 20. 20 times minus 6, 6 I mean, it's going to give us a minus what? 120. So we have in parentheses minus 120 divided by 2 times 5 is what? 10. So what would this give us? This will give us 4 plus or minus in parentheses this minus times this minus will be a positive so we say 16 plus 120 and we're going to get 136 divided by 10 so from here it gets quite tricky okay this is where you can see that this we don't have an answer here right so it means we have to break down this irrational number here this sort number here so in breaking down this sort number here, we have to break out a perfect square, okay? And what are the perfect squares we have? From uh, um, from your one downwards, the first perfect square is a four, then the next is a nine. So let's say uh, four divided by, that's 136 divided by four. 136 divided by four, will it go? Yes, it would go. So it's gonna go 34 times. You can always use your calculator, okay? So it's going to go 34 times, so we can break this down. Okay, so we have here, um, let me come here. So we have 4 plus or minus 136 is the same thing as 4 times 34 over 10. We can break this, um, the, square, the square root out. So we have 4 plus or minus the square root of 4 times the square root of 34 over 10. And what's the square root of 4 is what 2. So we have 4 plus or minus 2, 2 times the square root of 34. We can't get the square root of 34 because an irrational number divided by 10. So from here, it is easy for us to cancel out, right? To bring out what's common, okay? Uh, for me, I would just say, let's just split this. So we have equal to, uh, which way won't confuse you? Okay, let me just do this. We say 4. This will be 4 divided by 10 plus or minus 2 over 34 divided by 10. Okay, where 2 here, we reduce this 2 here 2 times, 2 here 5 times, and reduce this 2 here 1 and 2 here 5. So we have 5 and 5, so that's the same LCM. We have here left 2, and this is plus or minus, and what's left here is 1. So we have final, our final answer is what? 2 plus or minus square root of 34 
over 5. We have the same LCM here, so we'll bring 5 as what? 1. Alright, and what we're left to here is 2 plus or minus. This 2 cancelled, it reduced to 1. And 1 times square root of 34 is still the square root of 34. So this is our final answer. And our right option here is option D. Okay, so you can see... You can see how to um, solve this, all, all right? How to break down your irrational number, that's your sorts, okay? If you have more questions, you can always get me on the Facebook group, okay? Send a picture of your question, and um, on, you can also drop a comment here of all, any question, all right? And uh, I will try to respond to it. All right, all right, thank you so much from DTWG, the prep. All right, and don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ, for he is the way, he is the truth, he is the life. He is the one who is going to lead us to heaven at last. And also going to help us, you know, have a good life here on earth. In abundance, in health, and in love, and joy. So thank you, thank you from DTW Tutorials. Jesus is waiting for you. And don't forget, now you are destined to win. See you in our next video.